<laughs> I really don't know what came over me right now, but this song is hitting so hard for me right now. Anytime I feel like shit, just put this on. Instantly good mood. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you, girl. Oh my god, I don't know what came over me, but I just felt like dancing. And that song by Sabrina Carpenter, oh my god, every time I'm in a bad mood, I can just put that on and instantly, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Happy Friday, decided to start the vlog right now. By the way, I am trying these new headphones out. Look how sick they look. This is from a company called Noom, which stands for new wave maker they are a company based out of japan and you can actually only buy these in the us and japan but they're on amazon i'll link them down below i'm gonna try them out because as you guys know i'm on my journey for trying to find headphones that work for me the last set i tried was the sennheiser momentum 4s which were amazing by the way like they sounded so good probably my favorite sound signature to date except i couldn't wear them for like over an hour and what's the point of a really amazing sounding headphones if you can't wear them so i still do definitely recommend that because obviously it's different for everyone on how it fits and feels on your head and so if you guys are looking for a really good sounding close back noise canceling bluetooth headphones check those out these are open back obviously as you can see really the music is just coming from this little piece right here but yeah i've actually been really liking these guys so far but i'll let you know in a few days if i recommend them and really really like them because i've only been using them for about two days now anyways i'm just gonna get to work i was supposed to go run with my friend liberty this morning but she had something come up like i said it's friday hope you guys are having a good friday not really sure what we're doing this weekend but decided to turn on the camera start the vlog and take you guys along i do have to create content this weekend i'm gonna unbox this kitchen robot with you guys in a bit but gonna get some work done first Oh shoot. All right. This uh, kitchen robot thing from a brand called CV was delivered the other day and it came open. He literally delivered it like this at the door, which I thought was a little strange. This is the bottom. So I have to create content this weekend. So I want to just unbox it now, make sure nothing is uh, broken, but let me push this over this way and hopefully everything is all good but uh yeah so i'm creating content there, again the brand is called let me make sure my address is not on there again the brand, brand is called sous vide and uh i actually looked into this company last year because i wanted to try them out it's basically like a they call it a kitchen robot because you put in their meal kits and you can schedule when you want it done. So like, let's say you're a really busy person and you want your dinner at 5.30. So on your commute home, you can literally schedule on the app because this is also a refrigerator. So if you put it, the meal kits in there in the morning, you could schedule your app so it's ready whenever you want, which I feel like is really cool. I mean, I'm not like super important and busy where I need dinner exactly at 5.30, but I mean, I could see it being useful too. If like, if you're like a busy parent, busy mom, single parent single dad i don't know it could be pretty cool i don't think we're gonna subscribe to the meal kit but i'm hoping that on reddit i read a lot of posts that you can actually just use this as a normal machine versus like having to do their meal kits but i'll let you guys know how i like it and i'll, I'll show you guys the meal kits when i create content tomorrow but i figured i'll get this out now so i don't have to spend time tomorrow unboxing it i think i'm just gonna have to break this guy open See how I was saying it has like two compartments so that you can uh, bake on one, air fry on one, sous vide in the other. So the jury's still out, but I'll update you guys later in the vlog. Oh my gosh, I'm looking at my uh, kitchen right now, my viewfinder, and it's like so white. I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but I really want to change out my cabinets to something with a little more character, maybe wood grain, different color, but she is too white for me. Hopefully one day we can switch those out. Okay, so here's one of the meal kits. This is, this one is hollandaise crab cakes with potato gratin and green beans. Let me show you how the meals actually look. <laughs> look at the crab cakes. Okay. 
And then they also give you some biscuits right here. Well, these are pretty hefty biscuits. Green beans, pretty standard. And then your hollandaise sauce. All right, so far so good. I am updating it. In order to use the app, I actually have to register the device. So I need access to the menu so I can get the registration code. Okay, so while we wait for that to update, I got a new lens for my a7C2. This is a Polar Pro light leak lens and it's a 16 millimeter fixed lens. It's an F10 lens. There's no manual or autofocus. It basically is turning my really expensive camera into a disposable camera because this also has like a pinhole sort of vibe to it. So the cool thing about this is this little black bar right here, if you open it up and you twist this around, let me see if I could show it this way. See how that twists? Basically that right here allows light to enter the sensor and I'll put some pictures up here, but you can basically adjust the amount of light by twisting this. So you can have a lot of light coming in or a little light or no light by closing it off. And what light leaks do is it gives you that really retro sort of vintage vibe with like a streak of light and light leaks happened in film photography if the film got exposed to light. And I believe you can also add light leak when you're actually exposing the film or uh, when you're actually in the dark room. Don't quote me, but I think you can add light leak in the dark room but I'm not sure. So anyways, this lens allows you to get that vintage look by adding light leak, but then it also has that pinhole look, which is like a disposable camera kind of look. And so you're not getting sharp images with this. It's really super retro, but I feel like that's really cool. Like hopefully when I was talking, I, I was inserting some pictures here so you get the idea of what it's supposed to look like, but I feel like it also looks pretty freaking sick, like how small it is. So yeah, just a cool little, uh, novelty lens like what's up guys what's up guys fucking shit see i always forget how to vlog after a few days okay so here's the thing i haven't picked up the camera in about four days now i started off this vlog so good i was in like ready vlog mode but then just life but right now we're on our way to pick up mom we are taking her to her post-op appointment for her knee replacement surgery that I talked about in the previous vlog. She's doing so good. Her physical therapist has been so impressed with her walking. She's been off her walker for a few days now, which is incredible. So we're going to her first post-op appointment to meet with her surgeon, see how her sutures are healing. Hopefully they're healing good because she's been keeping it dry. Figured I'm gonna turn the camera on and I'll talk to you guys when we're in the car and kind of catch you up with what's been going on. Quick outfit check. I don't know if this shirt is too big. It like looks bigger in this wide angle lens, but I think in person it looks okay. But this is that Oakley shirt we thrifted over at Shimokitizawa. Oakley, boom. It looks huge right now, but in real person, it doesn't look this big. I'm second guessing it. I don't know, whatever. We're just going to the hospital anyways. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I got self-conscious that that shirt was too big, so I just changed real quick. <laughs> All right, let's go. backing up right now because I don't know if you guys do that sometimes but like I get worried that uh, I didn't close the garage so <laughs> I just want to make sure it's closed mm. driving backwards is weird <laughs> for this long okay she's closed all right just gotta make sure Okay, so in that previous clip when I was telling you I was backing up, it's because our internet is down right now. I just got a message that we had an outage. So usually I can check my app to see if I close the garage door because we have a smart garage. So that's why I was like backing up and like making sure to check if the garage is open. Usually if I have those mornings where I'm like, did I close it? I could just check the app. Anyways, so I wanted to kind of talk to you guys in a catch you up on what's been going on the last couple days. I know I talked about this a lot and I know I keep saying like I've been so busy and yada 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 and I know you guys are like hey, get over it. You're 
a content creator and doing work. Nothing special, but here's the thing. And I started thinking about it because I started thinking about photography and how I lost my joy with photography because I was doing it for work. If you guys are new here, I worked with the company for 18 years. I started as a photographer, worked my way up to a creative director. And so that job wasn't what lost the joy for photography for me because I was only a photographer, I want to say maybe two out of those 18 years. And then the rest, I was kind of just help directing. But then it was when I started to do freelance photography. I started to shoot weddings. I did portraits for friends and family. I did um, events and just... I was just basically the person who took pictures at all our friends events too. And it just started to feel like work. If you're editing thousands of images for a wedding, there's no way you want to do that for your own stuff. And so that's sort of when and why and how I lost my joy for photography. And when I started thinking about that, I realized I'm sort of on that tra trajectory with vlogging and my YouTube channel because of all the work I've been doing with agencies. I basically have two part-time jobs right now. One is doing agency work that I've been doing for a while now, but then two, I picked up contract work with a best-selling New York Times food author. I don't know if I'm allowed to say his name. If I'm not, I'll just kind of ax this out of the footage, but his name is Mark Bittman and I am contracting and doing work with him in a more like design creative sense and my friend Holly um, she brought me on to this project it's the agency work that is making me lose my joy of vlogging or at least it's keeping me from having the energy to film and edit because that's what I'm doing with them full time or 100% of the time so just to give you an idea too about the amount of work when I started doing agency work, I was getting anywhere from like one to four projects or what I like to call them briefs every month. One to four guys, not much, right? But in the last two months, I've been getting anywhere from six to eight briefs per month. And each brief has two to three videos in them. So we're looking at anywhere from 12 videos to possibly 20 per month, which is a little bit crazy. So that's sort of the reason why I've been slacking when it comes to my YouTube channel and vlogging. Um, I'm getting self-conscious because this person next to me is looking. But with that said, obviously we're grateful for this work and obviously I still love vlogging. So I just have to figure out a schedule that works for me, especially since this bump in agency work is sort of a new thing for me. So right now it's feeling almost more than a part-time job, but again, we're grateful. And so yeah, I guess I just wanted to explain that. It's a long-winded explanation of why, I guess, you know, my vlogs have been lacking lately. But I'm sad because I love hanging out with you guys and I love vlogging and documenting my life, so. Hang in there with me uh, until I figure out a good schedule that works. So yeah, I just wanted to update you guys. Uh, anyways, we're on our way to see mom and I'm gonna see if she wants to get on camera. We have mom here. Thank you for the all the warm, uh, warm wishes. Thank you. She's doing good. Just on her cane, but we're going to her appointment today. Look at my mom go. Let's go. <laughs> no, it doesn't look scary, does it? Um, it's normal because you're fairly two weeks both up. Oh. Um, it can take... Okay. Are you allergic to iodine or shellfish? Mom's appointment went well. She's been out of the house, so we're at, we're at lunch at Jochi's Filipino food. We just got some pancit, rice, lechon. Is that pinakbe? Pinakbe. And I just got me a fried fish, bangus. Bon appetit. My best combo, rice and fish, fried fish. Mm. And then it comes with a suka. Vinegar you can dip your uh, fried fish in. Delicious. Let me try this. What uh, vegetable is this, Ma? Squash, right? My favorite in the banak bit is a squash. Mm -hmm. And some fun soup. Mm. I got a notification that I got something. All right, so on our way home, we stopped by the post office because I got an email saying that a package was coming, and so picked these up. 
I got my first postcard from a subscriber. Oh my god, this made my day. It's coming all the way from Paris and it says Paris is always a good idea. And this is from one of my subscribers and he's also a Patreon member. His name is Ernesto. And I'm gonna read it because it's not personal um, and I think he wouldn't mind. Hopefully you don't mind, but it's just a nice little message. So it says, Mikey, greetings from Paris. It's a great walking city like Tokyo. Ernesto. So cool, Ernesto. Thank you so much for sending this to me. One day, hopefully, I get enough of these so I can make something out of them or just keep them and make an album or something. But yeah, this made me so happy. Thank you so much. Also got a package from there. This is from Christopher. Let's open it up together. I'm not sure what this is, but it does say Happy Mail. But let's see what's in here. Got my little uh, Donald Rogers pocket knife right here. Okay, let me read this first in case oh my god your writing is so cute <laughs> hold on let me read this first okay i think i could read it it says mikey rogers i came across your youtube and i love your videos and aesthetic i run a small business that sells magnets keychain stickers and sticker bookmarks i just had a launch and wanted to send you a few items once again i love your videos and i am so happy to send you a few things i hope you like them chris from at the chris daily how cute handwriting my handwriting used to be good all the way from like sixth grade up into college because I was writing a lot, but after college, got my job, stopped writing. Now my writing looks like chicken scratch, so keep writing if you have good handwriting. But anyways, here's the package. Super cute. Let's open it up. Cute! Smiley felt magnets. Oh my gosh. How freaking adorable are these? Oh my god. <laughs> Those are so cute. And that's like totally my aesthetic. Oh my God. And they have the magnets in the back. <laughs> You're like this. Hey guys. <laughs> Aww. Oh my God. Those are super cute, Chris. Wow. Thank you so much for sending them. Guys, make sure to check them out if you're like into magnets. Like those are so cute too. Ooh, look at these stickers, bro. Okay, hold on. These are perfect. I've been uh, collecting stickers, both for my fridge, but also my notebooks and stuff. Very nice. And, oh my gosh, I could put this on my Remova. <gasps> this will be so cute on there. Sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for supporting my small business. Love what you got. Leave a review. The Chris Daily. Where to follow me? TheChrisDaily.com or at the Chris Daily. Okay, I'm gonna check that out later. But then this one, ooh, more stickers. Fear kills growth, love that. Cosine, 1000%. Embrace the chaos, also love that. My life is currently freaking chaotic at the moment. And you know what? You just gotta embrace it and like laugh. And I mean, I love this because as you guys know, or as I've been telling you, my life has been hectic and crazy. And so definitely a reminder to just embrace the chaos because even though I keep saying I'm so busy and like, oh my gosh, all this, uh, someone commented last video that I ignored Aiko. She goes, love your vlogs, but don't love you ignoring your dog or something like that. She and I are together all day and she is very loved. So much so that we're getting her sister, like literally part of getting a new puppy, which she's coming this weekend, is for her to have a bestie because Hero isn't the most playful dog. And so we're hoping that they can create a playful friendship because Aiko is just a ball of joy. All she wants to do is play all day, every day. So it's not like I can like pay attention to her all day, every day. Anyways, anyways, I was saying embrace the chaos. It's actually perfect because as much as I am talking about being busy, I just need to embrace it because at the end of the day, I don't know when this agency stuff is going to end. UGC work could stop at any day because it's one of those things where if they no longer like your work or if they're going a different direction with the style of videos they're going, you can be out of that, that job. So honestly, I just, I got to ride this wave until I can. Anyways, let's go on to this last magnet. Is it a keychain? Oh my God, I think it's a keychain. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. Things move around in there. Chris, again, thank you. <laughs> I go. <laughs> Hold on, baby. Chris, again, thank you so much. Again, guys, I will leave information down in the description box below if you want to check it out. Really cute stuff. Here you go, babes. Honestly, I think my favorite ones are these magnets. They're just so freaking cute. Also, while I have you guys here, I have a package I want to show you guys. This is actually content I'm doing with my niece. One of the agencies I work for was like, hey, would you want to play creator for a women's brand? And if I knew anyone, and so I pitched to my niece, and so she gets some free jewelry. I already opened it, and I actually think they're really beautiful pieces, but it's from a company called R8. Go forth and shine. The packaging is beautiful. I love the color of this too. 
but they sent her a pearl necklace as well as a tennis bracelet, and we're going to be doing some content for that. Ooh, I love these colors together. That's such a vibe. And this is the pearl necklace. It comes in a really pretty pouch, velvet texture, and I just thought it was so pretty, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So here's this one. How pretty that is. And here's the clasp. Very cute and dainty. I can really see her wearing this with a simple cute dress. And they also sent a tennis bracelet. I don't want to take it out of the packaging because I don't know if we're supposed to do like some sort of unboxing, but here's how that looks. Also very pretty and you know she's getting married soon so maybe this is something she could add to her jewelry if she wants possibly or maybe for the engagement party or something she could wear this so yeah i'm excited to shoot the content on her and uh if you guys are looking for a jewelry brand check out orate you might find something you like because these are very pretty and uh very beautiful and i love the packaging Oh, also, one thing I wanted to mention is if you guys are a small creator or a large creator looking into getting a P.O. box, a hack you can do, at least for USPS, is you can rent the smallest P.O. box because even packages that come to them, if they're too big to fit in there, which most are because it's literally a small tiny one for mail, they'll put a blue slip in there. Or if they have a locker, a bigger locker open that'll fit, they'll just leave a key so you can go and grab your package. But usually, because some of the packages I get are big, they've been leaving a blue slip. You just take it to the counter. You don't even need your ID. And uh, they all have their package for you. Yeah, if you guys are a small creator or looking to get a P.O. box, get the cheapest one. You don't have to pay for the large ones. Oh, also, by the way, Saturday, we're picking up our puppy. If you guys know, you know, the first few weeks and months are crucial to setting your pet up for success. So you want to make sure to do everything you can possibly in the beginning so that they learn the best habits possible. So for us, we're going to take out all the carpets because we don't want any accidents on carpets. I keep saying carpets taking out all our rugs, <laughs> which they're all area rugs, so we can just roll them up and store them for a while. It's going to be a lot of sleepless nights because we're going to have to get up every two hours to make sure she goes potty so that she knows where to go potty. Yeah. And it's for you, Aiko. It's for you, girl. It's for my little baby girl right here. Hi, baby. Okay, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Look how cute. I don't know if those are going there, but just stuck them on there for now. Also excited to do this Pharrell Williams collab with Lego. The only thing though is I don't know if he's part of like, you know, the whole Diddy shit. So I'm kind of waiting. <laughs> but you know me and astronauts, so pretty sick. Looks so cool. Please, please don't be part of them freak offs. Look at how the stickers look. She is cute. I really love this one. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, that is genius. Fear kills growth. Guys, do not operate in fear. Live your life. She's cute though. Also, by the way, here's how our guest room is looking. She is in need of artwork, but I feel like, I don't know, looks okay. We took out the area rug here already. Our easy plants are doing well. I have to say one of them did develop some sort of disease and I'm not sure why or how, but it had all these weird sort of bugs on it. So I just decided to throw it away before these guys got infected. I don't even know what it was, but yeah, here's how our guest room is looking. I don't know about this little situation here, but it'll do for now. Yeah, so artwork shelving, possibly artwork shelving. I don't know. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away the pain. Hi guys, happy Friday, TGIF. Me and Donnie are actually going to date night tonight because the puppy comes in tomorrow. We're still waiting on the flight times, but we haven't puppy proofed the house yet. As you can see there, we still have our rugs out, but tomorrow morning I think we'll puppy proof that. We're heading out, we're going to dinner, we're doing a date night because for the next few weeks we're gonna be on puppy duty. If you know, you know that it takes a village to train a new puppy. Iko, are you excited? 
she's excited. But we're going to a restaurant called Kingfisher, and it is a upscale Vietnamese restaurant that we've been wanting to try. I went there with my friend Lady for appetizers and drinks, but we didn't really try the food. So I'm excited to try the food because they have like a whole fried fish that sounds delicious. They have these crispy wings that are good. They have papaya salad with shrimp. They have a skirt steak that sounds good. So we're gonna see what we try, but here is the outfit. I am currently wearing this we thrifted over in, can't remember. Do you remember where we thrifted this shirt? I technically bought it for you. I forget where I thrifted this, but also wearing some Levi's with my Timberlands down there. It's not like the coldest weather yet. It's still a little bit warm, but I'm like feeling the fall vibe. So I figured, you know what? Let's just break out fall now. Whoa, look at all those toys over there. Anyways, we're gonna head out. All right, here's a better view of the outfit. Ended up tucking it in because it's pretty long for me, but yeah, breaking out these guys. Okay, we're gonna head out. So quite a few of you have DM me asking how I edit my photos and I basically just use Visco if it's on mobile and if it's on desktop, I'm usually on Lightroom, but I prefer Visco just because it's so much quicker. So here's the after, that's the before. So that's like one of my favorite filters and this one is 06 Legacy. I don't know if that's showing up. That's how that looks. All right, we made it. We're a little early and we're looking at the menu right now. So I'm gonna do the Snake River skirt steak. Donnie is thinking of doing the whole fried rockfish. Crispy chicken wings for sure. Oh, the house made egg noodles because that one says limited. Yeah, limited, so we gotta do that. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll see when we get in there. We're out on a Friday night. I mean, it's only like five o'clock, so let's not give ourselves too much credit, but. Don just was like, would you live here? I can totally see myself living here. Hey guys, come over. Let's chill on my porch. Are you excited for Blue River? Um, oh, I thought you were excited for the food. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So that's the duck skin crackling that accompanies the cocktail. Okay. So take a sip, take a bite, kind of reach, rinse and repeat. Nice. Cocktail with a snack, it's a lot of fun. Awesome. Yeah, I think we're ready to order. So we're gonna try, we definitely wanna try the crispy chicken wings, um, the house made egg noodles, the whole fried rockfish, and then the uh, Snake River Wagyu skirt steak. Well, ask how hungry we are. Um, we're, we're hungry. We're hungry. But we're gonna take some home too. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yeah. I'd say we're dialed. Yeah, whatever you think is best. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. have the chicken wings and the egg noodles come up first. All right, so for my drinks, I got a duck fat drink, which is uh, based off their Suntory Toki whiskey. So it's a Japanese whiskey, but they give you some duck fat that you drink. Take a little bit of this and uh, we'll see how it goes, right? Cheers. Cheers, babe. Ooh, that's delicious. I don't even know if I need this. Ooh, that's bomb. What I got right there. I know who you are. She asks us, "Are you hungry?" <laughs> we love to order variety. If you haven't noticed, who knew duck fat and fucking cocktails? I was just gonna say, babe, we're getting another dog. I'm nervous. Are you nervous? I'm really. I'm actually really nervous. I think I'm just nervous because I've always been a two-dog household. I've never been three. 